Brakathayahawa, Brakathayahawa Shai, Brakathayahawa, Brakathayahawa Shai, Brakathayahawa, Brakathayahawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. The Thamash Nakabai lies a coin, Mishra Sharala, get double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom Wahab Labachar Sharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson, Baharacha Chorasha Amaf, and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the title of this video is going to be something along the lines of The kingdom has everything we need The kingdom has everything we need Everything that we desire in righteousness It awaits us in the kingdom Even these people, even the rest of Israel, man All right, Even the rest of Israel that's not seeking the kingdom All their problems will be wiped away in the kingdom They just don't see it They just don't believe it They haven't been given eyes to see They haven't been given ears to hear They haven't been given a heart to understand But the Lord has given us the special gift of faith That's another lesson I want to do Lord's where I can get to it today Because we believe that this kingdom is coming soon Very very soon I believe it has to come <laughs> Lord's will this year Lord, Lord's will, you know, next year. But I believe within the next couple of years that this place don't got this place, America, this kingdom is CTD. How do we know that? The Lord said in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, the disciples came to Yahweh Shai privately and asked them, what shall be the signs of thy coming and of the end of the world? All those signs is happening. OK, the visions that the prophets was having. Of the last days, they're happening. They're taking place. In the book of Second Edges, the ninth, the ninth chapter, it says, Measure thou the time diligently within itself. And when you see these signs come to pass, you shall know that it is the very same time wherein the highest will, be, will begin to visit the world which he made. We are in that lifetime where the Heavenly Father, Yahweh will send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to end the time of the Gentiles, to bring down all dominion, and to raise up his elect, to raise up his chosen, to raise up the true worshipers, the true believers that worship him in spirit and in truth, that believe on him according to the scriptures say, we living in them times. In the book of Ezekiel, the Lord said that in your days will I speak a word, will I speak the word and perform it. I'm going to start off with that. This is the book of, in Habakkuk, it says what? It says the vision is yet for an appointed time. At the end it shall speak. It's speaking. Okay? The, the last major prophecies is speaking. The CHIP, the RFID, CHIP, MOTB, Revelations 13 and 16. That's happening. The, the, the dollar will collapse and they will enforce the CHIP. A lot of these people don't see it because, again, they don't have eyes to see. They're not watching. They're caught up in their bullshit-ass life. They're worried about nonsense. They're, wor they're worried about vanity. But the Lord has opened our eyes and we can see that this is the end. At the end, it shall speak and not lie. The it tarry, wait for it, for it shall surely come. And the ones that wait for it and never stop waiting for it, those are the ones that's going to be greatly rewarded eyes have not seen ears have not heard what the lord yahweh bahasham yahweh shai has prepared for them that wait for him ezekiel 12 and 23 i'll start at verse 22 son of man what is that proverb that ye have in the land of israel saying the days are prolonged and every vision faileth all right these people don't think that the lord is returning in this lifetime all right even other israelite camps that claim to be prophets, claim to be teachers, claim that the Lord is speaking through them. A lot of them don't really believe that the Lord is soon to return. They talk about the, being the biggest Israelite school in 10 years. We're not looking to 10 years. The fuck? You, you out your mind? 
In the book of Second Ezra, it says, pray for a few days on to you. The kingdom is already prepared. Watch. We praying for way less than 10, 10 years, man. Shit, I don't be wanting to be here another fucking 10 minutes. You talking about 10 more years in this place? Look at the direction of this world. The alphabet people said they're coming after your children. They want to turn out your children. They want to tell your little boy he could be a little girl and put him in a dress at school and daycare. They want to turn your little girl into a stud or a whore and tell her she could be a king. Look at the direction this world is going in. There's no fucking possible way. It says, lest the Lord shorten the days, no flesh would be saved, man. We got way, way less than 10 years in this God forsaken world. Redemption draw off nigh. Salvation is nearer than we believe. It is high time to awake out of sleep. 10 years or oh, be the big, biggest Israelite school. Shut the fuck up. You don't even name. You don't even know the name of the Lord. I gotta show you where the where the, where the mind of these people was at. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter twelve and verse twenty-three. Tell them therefore, thus saith the Lord. Let's read twenty-two again. Son of man, what is that proverb you have in the land of Israel, saying the days are prolonged and every vision faileth? That's not gonna happen on our our lifetime. Our great grandchildren gonna have to worry about that. These are the sayings amongst our people. Oh, they've been saying that. It says in every vision, Philip, it's June. Ain't no micro C here. It's June. Right? That's that. That's a quote from the from the great uh, uh, Nathaniel at IURC. I believe that was 2016 when he said that. He can't say that no more. That vision is coming to pass. The vision of the MOTB, digital currency being embedded into your body. Elon Musk, brain, C hips. The WEF saying that, uh, uh, you know, fucking Klaus Schwab, Sa Santa Claus Schwab. Bill Gates of hell. Talking about what? Talking about what? A digital currency being injected into you so you can be tracked. Just like it says in Revelations 13 and 16. Just like we have been teaching, starting with the apostles and the elders. And when this thing come to pass, lo, it will come very, very soon. Then you're going to know that prophets have been among you. It's going to be too late for majority of these people. Ezekiel 12 and 23. Tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, the creator of all things seen and unseen. This is what he's saying. And we telling you, we telling the world, thus saith Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, that created everything. Including your black ass. I will make this proverb to cease. I'm going to shut you niggas up. I'm going to shut you niggas up and all you're going to hear is the prophecy speaking. All you're going to hear is the vision speaking. Like we read in the book, or like we quoted in the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, at the end they shall speak. The prophecies is going to be speaking loud and clear and you niggas going to be on hush mode, looking stupid. Looking like false goddamn prophets. I will make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. You can't say it's June. Ain't no micro C hip. Because all the information is out there. There's thousands of people already C hipped. There's countries that's, that's de-dollarizing. Okay. <laughs> in Australia, you can't. And there's certain banks in Australia, you can't go get cash. The world is going cashless. CBDCs. This is all biblical. And we've been warning. Again, starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone on down. Pretty soon you're not going to hear our voices anymore. Warning you and telling you. We've been blowing the trumpet. 
so that you can make yourself ready. If you take heed, you deliver your soul. If you don't take heed, you will perish in your iniquity, as it also says in the book of Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. I will make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. We are in the days of the visions coming into full effect, the prophecies being performed. This is the book Isaiah 44 and 26. I start at uh, 25. It says, I start at 24. Thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, that maketh all things. That's who we serve. The Heavenly Father Yahweh. In the name of his only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, that make all things. Everything that you see, everything that you don't see, the air that you breathe, the food that you eat, that's the power that we serve. And he's bringing an end. He's not, he's not happy with how the world is being ran. He says that he's angry with the wicked every day. And soon he's going to pour out his wrath. He's going to pour out his indignation upon these people. Perfect. It says, I am the Lord that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself, that frustrateth the tokens of the liars and maketh diviners mad, that turneth wise men backward and maketh their knowledge foolish, that confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers. Everything that we've been teaching, starting with the apostles and the elders on down, is coming to pass and soon will fully be in effect. Jacob's trouble, martial law, famine, pestilence, more earthquakes in diverse places. The Lord said, I'll visit with storms, with flame and devouring fire. With tempests, more tornadoes, tornadoes ripping through the um, Midwest right now. Tornadoes hitting Nebraska, tornadoes hitting Iowa, where I'm at. All throughout the mid Midwest, these are signs of the time and they're going to intensify. And the death toll is going to increase. It says the slain of the Lord shall be many from one end of the earth to the other. There be many more of them that perish than of them that shall be saved. These things have to take place. In the book of 2nd Ezra, it says that the evil has to be overthrown. Let's get that. This is the book of 2 Ezra chapter 4, and I'll start at verse 26. Then answered he me and said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel. For the world hasteth fast to pass away. This world is, this world is over with, man. Hasteth fast to pass away. Ten years is not the... No. That's not in the plans, buddy. It's not going to be prolonged another ten years. It's already happening. Why would the Lord slow everything down? Look how fast things are moving. Look how fast the days are, are, are. Look at all the prophecies, all the signs, all the visions that's taking place. Another 10 years doesn't make any sense at all. When we're on the brink of the collapse of the dollar. When we're on the brink of World War III. When we're on the brink of Jacob's trouble. When we're at the height of wickedness. These is the, the last days of the last days. Okay. And cannot comprehend, verse 27, Second Ezra 4 and 27, and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. 
We can't even comprehend the things that's promised to the righteous. I quoted it earlier that Isaiah, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has ent en entered into the hearts of men what the Lord has prepared for them that wait for him. We can't, e we can't even comprehend it. It, what the Lord has prepared for us. Our, these brains, these mortal bodies can't even fathom. Our wildest imagination falls short. These AI images, these AI images, they they beautiful, they nice and all. This falls short. This falls short to what it's actually gonna be like, man. But just this in itself, picture this, man. A couple of these are just a couple of your seeds. It's just a few of your seeds. The scriptures say that a little one shall become a thousand. And that's one of the main purposes on the earth uh, of coming to this earth is to what? To be fruitful and to multiply. You can't be fruitful and multiply. It's dangerous. It's dangerous out here. Dealing with women, getting a woman pregnant. That's a fucking dangerous. Uh, that's stressful. It's dangerous, man. Get this bride pregnant, and then she has goddamn post postpartum uh, uh, turn to a postpartum bug out. Now you can't see your children because she's all her hormones are all unbalanced and shit, man. She's got all type of demons on her. She take your children. Now you got a baby mama. Ain't gonna be no fucking baby mamas. Ain't gonna be no damn sexy reds. Hashtag single mom. Them bitches are stressed out. As much as they try to put on this act like they can do it all by... I can play both roles. You dumb bitch. I'm gonna call it how it is. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. We're not gonna have no shameless woman... Amongst our nation. We're not going to have no shameless woman amongst our nation. These women going to be fill, filled with shame. They're going to be lowly and humble and meek as they fucking supposed to be. Prideful ass bitches, man. Thinking that they special because they went to college. Built up all type of debt and got a useless ass degree. Bitch thinks she's special because she's working 40 hours a week and she's able to barely get by. I'm independent. Bitch, you're stressed out. And you're scared when you go to sleep because you don't have no man in the house. But you put on this front like you, like you got it, like you're strong. Women weren't meant to be strong. You're the weaker vessel. You were created to serve a man, a help. Me for Adam. Help means what? Servant. That's your role. And when you get back into your role, you're going to fucking love it. There's women that hear this and be like, mm -mm, I ain't sharing my man. No, you you are going to. Sh you're, you're definitely going to share. All right. And you're going to love it. You want to have one man your whole life. That's what your biolog that's your biological makeup. You weren't biologically created to have to, to have all type of men run up in you. That fucks with your brain. That disrupts your DNA, that disrupts your hormones. The serpent lied to you. Again, you dumb bitch. The nigga lied to you. You are not a goddess. That's not your role. You need Adam. You need to listen to him. You are his servant. That's what woman means. A female servant. Look up the etymology. Here in 2024, these bitches can't even define the word woman. Half of these bitches say a man that chop his rod off and gets surgically implanted titties on his pecs. Can identify as, as a woman as well. All that's going to be wiped away with. All that's going to be done away with. 
and everybody's going to play a proper role in the kingdom. All right, let's go back into this second Ezra chapter four and verse 27. And cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. This world is full of unrighteousness. And what comes with unrighteousness? Infirmities. The wages of sin is death. Cancer. That's an infirmity, right? That's a disease. And all the rest of the fucking diseases of Egypt. Little children getting cancer. Little fucking fat ass 10 year old. Diabetic. Gout. All these different. All these different things is going. We're not going to have to deal with that in our kingdom man. Okay. It says. Bad food. Bad air, bad water. The environment, look, the environment around us is toxic. Micah 2 and 10, arise and depart. This is not your rest. It is polluted. It will destroy you with the sword of destruction. Our rest is in the kingdom. Hebrews the fourth chapter, there remaineth a rest unto the people of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Therefore labor to enter into that rest. And that's what we doing. These people don't see it. Our people don't see it. The importance of the work that Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai has us doing. Starting with the apostles and the elders. They don't see it. But they'll appreciate it. The same must know it after death by pain. Second Ezra the ninth chapter. They'll appreciate it later on in the kingdom, man. When they get re when, when the Lord hit that reset button. Reset him. Okay? That's when they'll get it. Scriptures say all my people will be righteous. I'm tired of looking at these crusty ass niggas, man. Tattoos on their face, dreads. Pants hanging off their ass. Sexy red fucking piercing on the top of your goddamn mouth on your lip. Dumbass piercings all over your face. Dumbass tattoos all over your face and your body, man. BBLs. Bonnets. Blonde weaves. Man, all that shit. All that nasty shit's gonna get wiped away with, man. These bitches only brag about twerking. And how wet they stinky box get. And how they can roll a backwood. What the what what kind of woman is that? You're not gonna see none of that. You gonna we gonna have real women in the kingdom. Them good clean girls. In their proper order. Right? Second address chapter four. In verse 28, but as concerning the things whereof thou asketh me, I will tell thee. For the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. Destruction, that's what's going to fix this place. That's what's going to fix the world. It's a total restart. A total do-over. Destruction upon Babylon. The whore, the harlot. And everybody else is going to fall with them. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. This place got to get flipped over. This place got to get burnt down. We don't need no water. Let this motherfucker burn. And then... That which is sown with good can come. Second Ezra chapter, since we in Ezra, right? Second Ezra chapter 7 and verse 6. There is also another thing. A city is builded and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. 
Our kingdom is going to be full of all good things. The food is going to be good. The air is going to be good as it's supposed to be. The water is going to be clean as it's supposed to be. This devil intentionally put cancer into everybody. The DuPonts, right? the nonstick pans, Teflon. They intentionally, they knew this shit would give everybody cancer, would make everybody sick. The chemicals that they put in, into the food, the carcinogens that they put into the food, making everybody goddamn sick, giving everybody goddamn health problems. Pesticides on the fruit, hormones in the meat, fluoride and atrazine in the water. What a sick, demented, goddamn devil. But the Lord said what? In the book of Revelations, let's just read it. This is Revelation chapter 11 and verse 18. It says, uh, uh, yeah, it says, and the nations were angry and thy wrath is come. And the time of the dead that they should be judged. The dead is talking about the nations, the heathens. We're in the time that they shall be judged. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets. That's the ones that's waiting for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They're going to get a reward that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. We looking at this, right? I can see this picture and it looks beautiful. But the reward that the Lord is going to give to us, I don't want to rot eye and do unto the end of that number. It's going to be better than what we looking at. And there was a couple other pictures, you know, I just picked one. It's a beautiful scenery. That man's not worried about nothing. He's not worried about child support. He's not worried about the mother of uh, of those children, the mothers. Those, those, those three children got three different mothers, man. They all are his wives. They're not baby mamas. He's not on child support with one of them. He's not arguing with the other one. Okay? They're taken care of. They're soaking in they're soaking in oils. They don't have a care in the world. The women women they lose it. Oh, I got to share a man? Nope. That's how fucking gone these bitches are, man. You won't have to work. You complain about work. Everything that you complain about, you won't have to complain. Niggas leaving you. Fucking duck. Hit and quit. You're not being fully taken care of. All that will be fixed in the kingdom. But a man is not going to be monogamous to your ass. An Israelite man is not going to be monogamous, monogamous to your ass for eternity. This is not Disney Channel. This is not some princess movie. Again, you were lied to. Uh, women's liberation fucked you up. Free love, sexual liberation, that fucked you up. You got caught in the trap. You believe the lies of the serpent. And now you're realizing it was poison. You fucking crying yourself to sleep every night. Stress the fuck out. It says, And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great. So the prophets fear the name of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. The saints, the servants of the Lord, they're not talking about no most high in Christ, bless. Fuck out of here with that, man. Get that the fuck out of here. Jesus calling on Jesus Christ not gonna get you in, in uh, uh saved from a missile, not gonna get you saved in the time of famine. There's no other name given amongst men whereby we must be saved. That name is Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the Son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. The Lord said, whatsoever you ask in my name, that would a father do that he may be glorified. That's why we say Yahweh, the Most High, Bahasham in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. 
It's the only way you get, go and get up out of here. And it says, he that nameth the name of the Lord must depart from iniquity. So walk in, uh, when you go into the book of St. John, the fourth chapter, it says that the hour cometh and now is where the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. When you go into that word true, it, it means not just to have the name, but to walk. Let's read that. I want to read that word because I, I need to get better on that definition. When I when I first read that definition, it was always hot, but it's, it's very intricate. So I got to just keep reading it until I can... Um, until I can Recite it better without having to go to it every time. St. John 4 and 22. But the hour cometh and now is where the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Uh, so going into that word true, right? For true worshipers. It goes back to the Greek word alethinos. Alethinos. The definition says that which was not only Slakia, that which has not only the name and resemblance, but the real nature corresponding to the name. So Sakari, they use the name Yahweh and they use the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, even though you still hear them say Christ. Red flag. Same why SUPK. They use the name of the heavenly father, Yahweh, and the name was only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. But you'll hear them say Christ as well. We don't refer to the Lord as Christ. And if we do, we say whom the world ignorantly calls Christ for edification's sake, man. I, 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 I see they done been left to chat. They bless each other in the name of Christ. What the fuck? Anyways, that which has not only the name and resemblance, but the real nature corresponding to the name. In every respect corresponding to the idea signified by the name, real, true, genuine. Okay, so walking in the vibration, the true vibration of the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. What is His name and what is His Son's name, if thou canst tell? The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it and is safe. The elect shall praise His holy name. Okay, so it says, that's it on that. Going back into finish on that Revelation chapter 11 and verse 18. It says, and the nations were angry and thy wrath is come and the time of the dead that they should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, right? The true worshipers and to the saints and them that fear thy name, small and great and shouldest destroy them, which destroy the earth. Should is destroy them, which destroyed his or destroyed earth. This devil is he doesn't know how to rule. He's a dumbass and he's a F word. And I'm not talking about fuck. He's a botty boy. He's a fruitcake. Alright. He's a predator of little children. Look at all this shit coming out about Hollywood. Where do you think these niggas got that from? The devil. In order to get raised up in this place, you got to do devil shit. You got to worship the devil. You got to participate in orgies. You got to go to Diddy's party. Not in our kingdom. None of that shit's going to be going on on the planet Earth. If we hear, especially not amongst our nation, because all our people will be righteous. The Lord is going to put the law in our inward parts that we cannot sin, starting with the elect. And there's any Bati boys amongst these other nations. Stone him. Harlots, burn her. As the law says. Going to be none of that shit, man. Full of all good things. Two men... Going up be fucking, come on now. What's good about that? What good comes from that? Filthy ass act. Two women bumping coochies. What good comes from that, man? Damn stud. With boxers on and a do-rag. What the, 
Come on now. The Lord said, be fruitful and multiply. You can't multiply like that. You can't be fruitful like that, man. Stone them. Fiery stone, just like the Lord did to Sodom and Gomorrah. Lord, don't play, play like that. And that's what he's about to do to this place. It's Bati, Bati boys all around this place, man. Bitches talking about they want a girlfriend. That shit gotta go. You got children. You go to the grocery store and there's two niggas holding hands. Magic Johnson's son. Cashing at the fucking cash register. Damn young ma. Stocking shelves. Kate, damn Caitlin Bruce Jenner. At the at the juice company at the, at the the juice spot. You sick all goddamn year round. All right, let me change my diet. All right, let me stop eating meat. Everything else, you know, I'm just I'm a fruitarian. The fruit's fucked up. Doctor, uh, my man's <laughs> Doctor Bobby Price. He was asked the question, if, if you get cancer, what would, what would be the first thing you do to um, heal from that? Leave America. You can't heal here. It's toxic. These people are toxic. There's literally toxins everywhere. The air, the water, I continue to reiterate. You should be pissed off. I'm telling you. You can look up. Look, these niggas is poisoning you. They poison your water sources. It's, they poison the food sources. It poison your air. These are all things that's essential for longevity. These are all things essential for you to truly live your best life. And they poisoned it. And they filled it with a bunch of toxins. And you're not fucking mad? Well, you got to go. You're a part of the problem. Go down with this devil. Lord said in the, uh, uh, Ezekiel 9, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. As for the others... Let not your eyes spare, neither show any pity, pity. Slay utterly old, young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the Tawah, which is the Hebrew word for that word mark right there in Ezekiel, which means to be exempt from judgment. If you're not signing crying in righteousness against all the abominations in the midst of this place, you're going to be slayed utter utterly. That's what the Bible says, man. We're not about to sugarcoat what the Bible says. Cry aloud, spare not. You can call us the T word. Right? Put us on all these lists, hate group, extremists. We reading the Bible. And we're not going to stop through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. We're not, we, we going to defend truth, period. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for you. We're not going to stop striving for truth. You're not going to never be able to get us to say, oh yeah, you're right. A man that cuts his rod off, he's a woman now. No. You're going to try to cut my head off for that? Then, hey, shh. Where the line at, nigga? I'm not getting no goddamn C-hip in my arm or in my forehead so I can continue to be a slave for your dumb ass. You got the wrong one. Okay? It says in the book of Revelations, they love not their lives unto death. In Maccabees, it says that they were fully resolved and confirmed within themselves that they won't break the covenant. Get no damn fucking C-hip in me and walk around this earth. Bug the fuck out. Goddamn ulcer, a big ass lump on your arm. Filled with cancer and pus. Nah, fuck that, man. That's the time where it's just, hey, it's just time to go back to the Father. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. And wait to come back. Shortly we'll be back. We're going to blink our eyes and be in a new body. On a chariot. Returning. With Yahweh Shai, traveling in the greatness of his strength. First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter. Come for one another with these words. Let's go from there. It's getting long, but I don't give a fuck. 
Second Ezra chapter eight and verse 50. It says, for many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter time, in the latter time that shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Many great miseries is coming upon these people because of your pride. Pride wasn't made for men. It says pride is hateful before the most high and men. So miser miseries is going to come upon these people. It said miserable are the cities that took in thy sons captive. That's the time we living in them time. Pride is at, a, at an all time high. We damn near in May or tomorrow or the next day after. Then we're what, a month away from from Pride Month. Which is a bunch of abominations being happy to be an abomination. In the book of Sirach, it says that um, the all abominations is hateful before the Most High. Sirach 15 and 13 or 13 and 15. Someone can post that. Baba Kosha, if you, you know, watching this as premiering and, you know, you you capable, you know, grab some of these precepts that I'm quoting. Second Ezra chapter eight and verse 51. But understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. For unto you is paradise open. We got paradise waiting for us. The fuck I'm going to get a seat hip here and try to stay here for. I don't love my my life here. I do not love my my uh, Esau. Who, 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 who's the, you know, the ruler of this earth. Fuck this place. For unto you is paradise open. The tree of life is planted. The time to come is prepared. Plenteousness is made ready. We're going to have plenty. We're going to have plenty of everything. Everything and anything you can think of, we're going to have it in abundance. Short of nothing. Going back into the title. Everything we need is in the kingdom. All our problems is wiped away in the kingdom. And that's why. We're seeking the kingdom as, as hard as we are because the Lord put the spirit on us and he has given us the gift of faith to believe that that kingdom is real. It's not no fairy tale. Everything else in the Bible has come to pass. We win the captivity. That was prophesied in the Bible to happen. We all the way in the Western Hemisphere. That was prophesied in the Bible. It is Jeremiah um, 22, Jeremiah 32 and 42. For thus saith the Lord, like as I have brought all these great, all this great evil upon this people, so will I bring upon them all the good that I have promised them. Okay. He brought, he brought the curses upon us. That the the what um the wife her eyes shall be evil towards her husband. That happened. Shall be a proverb and a byword. You shall be the tail, and your enemy shall be the head and rule over us. Cursed in the city, cursed in the field. Are people smitten with madness, infirmities and diseases, going to the want of our enemies for all things? All that took place. All that evil, all that bad stu stuff took place. Now we live in the times where the good things are going to be given onto the elect of the nation of Israel. And in turn, all right, the rest of the nation will get to enjoy that after death by pain. You don't want to be reborn on this side, spiritually, renewed in your mind, then you're going to just have to literally restart. And it's going to be painful. It's going to pine away or building fall on you and you still in the rubble, barely uh, 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 breathing, but still alive, starved to death. It said in the book of Isaiah 13, it says that thy houses shall be rifled, thy women shall be ravished, thy children shall be dashed to pieces before your eyes. You seen what the Lord did to Zedekiah? You seen his, his children 
put to death and then his eyes plucked out and then his ass went into captivity. So he had to suffer watching his family get put down. Then his eyes got fucking cut out of his, uh, out of his shit. And his ass was still alive in goddamn captivity. Many great miseries is going to be done to these people in these last days, man. A time like no other. For thus saith the Lord, like as I have brought all this great evil upon this people, so will I bring upon them all the good that I have promised them. And the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. And he's not a man that he should lie. He's going to give us the promises, man, which is what? The earth. He promised us the earth. And everything in it. We can actually have a proper family in the kingdom. We going to have our own, not a fucking house with a mortgage, man. You think you're doing something. We're not going to have to pay nobody no goddamn bills. They're going to pay us. We're not going to have no fucking license. All right. Fuck all that, man. Hey, brother, you trying to go? Man, I got to get my passport. Hey, brother, you trying to go travel over here? Hey, man, my, man, my L's. My L's ain't together, man. Uh, I got to ask for time off. Come on now. All that shit's going to be over with, man. We're going to move on this earth how the fuck we want to move on this earth in righteousness. All right. So we about 50 minutes in. A couple more precepts. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 37 and 4. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Don't give us everything that we that we desire again in righteousness. We're not gonna be fucking playing no goddamn Xbox. PlayStation 5 in the kingdom. Fuck no, man. We're going to be doing so much. Psalms 126. Said the nation shall say. Man, let's read that. Psalms chapter 126. And verse 1. A song of degrees. When the Lord. And this was a song of degrees is when you look it up. These are songs that would be sung when we would make our way back to Jerusalem. We would travel up to Jerusalem. And we traveling back to Jerusalem now, man. Back home. When the Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai turned again the captivity of Zion. We were like them that dream. It's going to be a dream we don't wake up from. It's going to be reality. Dreams turn to reality. Your crib going to be big as a city. You're going to be looking just like that. On your balcony. Taking it all in. Taking in the mercy of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. I don't see how I'm not going to cry. I'm going to be right there. Emotional. <laughs> Praising Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The whole city going to hear me. Call I am like Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The city going to shake, man. Them Edomites, it's gonna, to them Edomites, to them slaves in the fields going to sound like thunder, man. They going to be scared. And it's really just me praising my power for the mercy. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. And our tongue with singing. Say that they're they going to sing on their beds with a two-edged sword in their hand to execute the vengeance and the judgment written. Praise Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Then said they among the, sea, the, the heathen, 
The Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, have done great things for them. The Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, have done great things for us. Whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity. We getting about this bitch. These people don't got no hope. Niggas ain't got no hope. Keisha and Big Shirley ain't got no hope. Hector and Maria, they ain't got no hope. What you got to look forward to? Goddamn illegal immigrant in your own land. You niggas, the same land you built up, you still at the very fucking bottom, filling up the jailhouse on goddamn Section 8 in the hood. Projects. Chemically imbalanced eating hot Cheetos. But we got hope. And our hope is not in vain. Turn again our captivity, O Lord, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again rejoicing, bringing his sheaves, his sheaves with him. Lord, go and say what? That verse five. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Is the book of Revelation, chapter 21, in verse 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, is with men. He dealing with the man. Oh, you disagree? Well, you go set up the camp. You go out there and speak for three hours. It's the in season, not a season. On a concrete. It's going to be five minutes. My feet hurt. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai himself shall be with them and be their power. And Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death. You're not going to hear about your grandma dying because her fucking shitty ass diet. Your cousin got shot. In the streets. Little babies is dying. Francis and God knew his shorty just died. 18 months. Whoever perished be innocent, but we're not going to hear about that type of shit, man. Little baby just fucking caught up in a drive-by. Or, or a little baby's fucking dirty-ass mama put him in the... um. Put them in the oven and shit. That's not, not going to be going on in the kingdom, man. Or children abducting. Miss it's not going to be no Amber Alerts in our kingdom, man. Fucking dirty ass Edomite. Grabbing up Israelite children. And, and trafficking them, man. It's not going to be none of that. No more death. Neither sorrow. Nor crying. There shall be... There sh Salakia, neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away. All that trauma, all that pain, all that hurt. It's going to be done away. It's going to be wiped away with, man. It'll all be over, man. Very, very soon it'll all be over. It is finished. No more suffering. Psalms 144 and 14. That our oxen may be strong to labor. This is, oh man, I love, I love this. I'm going to start at verse 11. Psalms 144 and 11. Rid me. It's the, it's the Sabbath, man. I mean, if whoever, whoever not, you know. Hey, shout outs to you if you're still here. You know. Psalms 144 and 11. Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children. This strange ass devil. Weird ass devil. The soul that is lifted up is not upright in him. The wicked is estranged from the womb. He's a nasty weirdo freak. Whose mouth speaketh vanity. And their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. A goddamn liar. Come out the womb speaking lies. That our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth. The, the highest thing you want for your son is for what? This nigga to fucking be a basketball player? That shit's weak. Or a lawyer. A doctor. 
The doctor ain't shit. So lock you. A doctor ain't shit, man. Falsify. Niggas don't know nothing about health. Niggas don't know nothing about nutrition and actual healing. They're not real physicians and they're physicians of no fucking value. A lawyer, fucking lawyers are dirtbags too, man. Majority of them. It's a system. They all work together. They're fucking best buddies with, with, with the uh, uh, opposing attorney, whatever you call it, man. The judge. It's a money scheme. This whole shit is a money scheme. You being sick, put money in their pockets, man. You get a woman pregnant. Them giving her, they'll say, oh, she needs a C-section and try to scare you into it so that they can make money. Oh, you in pain here? You want an epidural? That's money in their pocket. So they make you sick so that you can go to the doctor, not to get healed, but to continue to be sick so they can continue to buy them fucking band-aids that they call drugs. And you'll never truly be healed. It's all about money. One of Esau, I think it's one of his grandsons, or it could have been his son, is Eliphaz. Name, nigga's name was Eliphaz. Which what? My God is gold. Okay? Gold, oil, and drugs, right? And God we trust. It says that our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth. You're not going to have to worry about having a fucking off ass son. That our daughters may be as cornerstones. You're not going to have to worry about your daughter being on OnlyFans. A harlot, a little hoe. Polished after the similitude of a palace. That our gardeners. May be full, affording all manner of store. Plenteousness is made ready. I can go all day on this. I'll probably do, if the spirit moved me, I'll probably do another video on the kingdom. I'm not going to stop doing videos on the kingdom. Because this all I think of. This all anybody has to look forward to. The earth needs this kingdom. Otherwise, no flesh would be saved. The people that's in rulership is destroying the planet and destroying everything and everybody in it. We're saying what we're preaching through the Bible and the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, that the creator of all things is going to send his only begotten son to fix it all, to set up a new heaven and a new earth where in dwelleth righteousness. When we rule, we're not going to Pollute the air, put chemtrails in the air so that we can control the people and make them docile. We're not going to make genetically modified organisms. You're going to be able to easily find a watermelon with seeds as it's supposed to have. Grapes with seeds as it's supposed to have. Animals get to be animals. <clears throat> it's not going to be sheep brothels in our kingdom. Like there is in this kingdom. The black market. You buy organs. I'm not going to be none of that weird ass shit this devil got go to, going on. Psalms 144. And 13. That our gardeners may be full affording all manner of store. That our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our streets. You got to have a lot of you got to have a lot of land to have all that sheep. I'm going to precept that, man. That our oxen may be strong to labor, that there be no breaking in nor going out, that there be no complaining in our streets. You're not going to complain. Your woman is not going to complain about nothing. Your women, our women, they're not going to complain that you with another woman. Lay it up. You're not going to have to sneak text. We're not going to have side pieces. They're going to be wives. <laughs> Okay? And we'll have concubines. But those concubines, they're going to be served. We're not going to have to sneak with no damn snow bunny. You're not going to have to sneak with no Moabite woman. 
All right. These these uh, women here that oh, oh my gosh, Bruh, Abraham had multiple women. That's who the Lord made the promise with. Are you fucking dumb? There's men. Oh, you're only supposed to have one woman, Bruh. The twelve tribes was spawned off of multiple women. Jacob had four wives. They try to. Go in and try to break it, try to cut it. No. A little one shall become a thousand and a small one a great nation. That can't happen with one woman who she can only bear once a year. So you get you telling me it's going to take a thousand years for a little one to become. A, no, the Lord said I'll hasten it in its, in its time. Roughly paraphrasing. Someone post that. Baba Kusha. I will hasten it in his time. Let me see if I can grab it. Isaiah 60 and 22, a little one shall become a thousand and a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten in this time. It's going to happen fast. Be fruitful and multiply. Meaning what? A man is going to, an Israelite man is going to have multiple women. Even these other nations. That's going to be lawful. Okay. So that's really it, man. Like I said, <laughs> I can keep going through the spirit and power Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, but we'll be here all day, all week. Psalms 144, I'll finish on this. Verse uh, 15, happy is that people that is in such a case. Yea, happy is that people. See, our, our mouth filled with laughter, with joy. Happy is that people whose power is the Lord Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Again, look at your screen. This man, bruh. Children is amazing. When you me personally, man, you, when you start, you don't want to stop. That's your legacy. You cloning yourself, man. <laughs> you cloning Tyrone. <laughs> you know, you you bring it forth, you know. It says, uh, blesses the man. Damn, how does it go? It's quiver full. Psalms 127 and 5. Happy is that man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Uh, let me start at verse, Psalms 127 and verse uh, 3. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They, uh, it says, these, thing, these nine things I count to be happy, the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that has joy of his children, a man that gets to see the fall of his enemy, roughly paraphrasing. We're going to have joy of our children, man. Your little daughter. Your daughters. We're going to have so many daughters. And like Job said, they were the most beautiful women in the land. Your boys. Watching your little boys do. Man. All type. Even in this world, you see your sons do, you know, certain things. You be wooed off of it. Man, these little boys gonna be doing all type of crazy stuff in the kingdom, flying and shit. Funny as hell, fucking with the heathens, riding on lions. This is all scriptural, okay? I wanted to hit Ezekiel thirty-six. Like I said, there's a cut. There's a lot of other precepts, man. It says in the uh, on the right hand of the Lord is pleasures forevermore. So just keep on waiting, man. Keep on waiting. Because it's surely going to come. There remaineth the rest for us. Everlasting. Having that said, Ka halal yamla, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Chodash, Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Racha Chodash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. 
And thumb I shnaka by lies of Kwamishra Sharala get up honest to the elders of Israel being the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well. Shalom Wahab Laba Khir Shah Sharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom Machim, brothers keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draw off nigh, and redemption is nearer than we believe. Shalom.